Okay. Hey, ladies. Hey. How'd your Christmas go? Very peaceful and relaxing. Jesus. Very peaceful. Very chocolatey. I had a box of chocolates. Nice. Caja Royal. Caja Royal? Yeah. I think, I don't remember what I did. I, I've just been sleeping and eating Popeye. Right. Anyway, <laughs> and feeding. You know, your voice starts getting compressed when you talk on on camera. You start going, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I don't know why. Your voice is ready for the more rest. relaxed. Don't you notice how her she's voice changes? For, she's ready for Jada. She's ready for Jada. Oh, it's because I'm trying to like, I don't want to sound too loud or excited. I try to be like, hey, so just relax your voice. Now, the Cure series for now. Let's get to the point. Okay. Who would like to react first? I, I will, because I watched it first. I was actually watching Fresh Prince up until 10 o'clock to make sure that I started on time. I thought it was great. I loved all of their endings. Uh, I liked Kelly's a lot because she had a lot of growth from the beginning of the sixth season. No, it was, it was five seasons, the fifth season. Uh, she she came to a reunion and they thought it. yeah they, it was six years I think that's why they were that number came in there but yeah they thought uh, she had passed away and she took that pretty hard and she started to make like a really serious effort of like making her life uh, more meaningful and, and thinking about the choices that she was making so I, I liked her growth I loved um, Molly's wedding when I saw that I was like my I was like ah and then my eyes watered and I like talked and you know talked away the the tears and then I really like the fact that they no <laughs> sorry to people that like Nathan I I kind of like that they just got him out the way pretty early in the episode because <laughs> it was like where well, their relationship was mad phony it wasn't genuine yeah he wasn't but, really uh, into it but I'll say it was like yeah she was being she was being like inauthentic yeah and he, he he sensed that and he was like like you're not about to get me into a, a manic episode with your conflicted self. Oh yeah. I know what my problems are. You need to be honest with yours. Mm -hmm. he, he I want to know who Nathan was going to end up with because I liked him. I wanted to see his love story. Uh -huh. Lawrence, I hated him for most of the show, but I liked him when he finally admitted to Issa that he needed her and he loved her. That's mm -hmm. when I finally was Team Lawrence or Lawrence Hoy. <laughs> Like, yes, thank you. Be a man. Speak up. Tell, get your girl. Get your girl. So I think they finally matched. And mad props, mad props to his best friend that uh, helped him realize that. Yeah. Oh, what his name? Is his name Chad? Chad, yeah. See, this uh, smooth talking, uh, fast talking dude. Like, everything's like, oh, oh. kind of like me. That, for me the, the love story of the show was um, Issa and Molly loving each other through all of their insecurities yeah like um, molly not judging isa for not getting her stuff together faster and isa not judging molly for her messed up love life so then them they're finally getting to the point where they're planted with you know the spouse and the um profession the vocation miriam anything else what did you particularly like about this now i like that I liked everything about the finale. What I really liked about the finale, though, is that it really showed me as person growth. I remember watching her on, Alicia put me on to Awkward Black Girl when I was in college. And I kind of like how it kind of just showed the growth from, you know, the the initial, where she started off at the, what was the first place called? Yeah, yeah We Got Us or whatever, We Got Y'all or whatever. The place oh, We Got Y'all. Huh? Uh, I thought you were talking yeah, about the apartment. We got yeah, the dunes, the um, the we got y'all. How she started off with um, an awkward back girl with the we got y'all and all, and like some of the same characters. Uh, the the her best friend that was on awkward black girl was at the end of the um, the episode. And I love that. I just like that it showed her growth. Yeah, actually, I like that it showed her growth up overall. And that you know they didn't really drag the season like the show out because you know I feel like it could have been dragged out for like two more seasons. And I really like that they cut it off. <laughs> to the point where we still enjoyed the show. So I thought, you know, no, because like sometimes they, they run shows 
long. It's like yeah. you stop watching and it's just like, yeah, she, they ruined the show for me because they ran it for too many seasons. So I like that she knew when to cut it off and that she knew that she was trying to, you know, grow as a person and move on to a different to a different part of her life. So I, I think that the show concluded perfectly. I thought it was very obvious that her and uh, Lawrence were going to end up together. It just was kind of annoying seeing how long it took place. Kind of like Ross and Rachel, but, you know, you know, except it was Issa and Lawrence. It's very obvious that they were going to get together. Mm-hmm. And I think that um, the person that that really surprised me at the end was Kelly. Was was Kelly too? Because she was always like a jokester, and you know didn't take much seriously except you know her friends. So the fact that she actually settled down and was about to have a baby, that I thought that was um, a nice touch at the end. And um, I like how they they ended the show on a, a light note and how they ended it like with Lisa and Molly. I thought that was really cool. And how it was just like bossy, even get- the song. I love the song yes. they chose to end it with. Too. Yeah, yeah. Like- I think they ended it with the Khalees Bossy because it was just like, yeah, they finally bossed up in life and like bossed up together and kind of like, it was like a, a really great ending to my I like that um, it, when it ended, I was just like, oh, it's over. Like, it was like, ah, oh. <laughs> it was cool. It, it was, yeah, it wasn't I like, oh. Like, it wasn't like it was. It ended, it ended in a good way because it wasn't like they didn't. We didn't want to. I didn't want to know more about that story. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> they they made it so it was just like they. they we didn't want to know anymore. Like they ended it to where that needed to be ended. We didn't. It wasn't like you know how much your mother or like Big Bang Theory. It was just like we get it, Sheldon. We get it. You know, Penny. Yeah, like you know, I just I like that they ended it when when it needed to be ended. They ended it right on time. Absolutely. It was an excellent series finale, an excellent show, great show about growth and overcoming self-doubt and finding your purpose in life and um, going after what you want. Perfect for millennials. And, and all the struggles in, in between them. And then it's like, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. No need to worry. Uh, did you notice that mirror, the mirror version of herself wasn't there at the end? That was symbolic because she wasn't insecure anymore. So I thought that was a really nice, a nice touch. <laughs> All right. Thanks, ladies. All right.